Hey, it's Dry Bear. We're into week five of Dragonflight. It's been a measly five weeks and we already have a confirmed date for the 10.0.5 update coming January 24th. That's right, in 11 days, the midway update, mid patch update, 10.0.5 is coming live, including tons of class reworks, lots of balance changes, new content, trading posts, all that sort of thing. So we're going to review what's going in the patch and we'll dive into the announcement as well. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. All right. So on the official page, Dragonflight 10.0.5 content update arrives January 24th. That is 11 days from today and it will bring a whole bunch of changes to it. The, there's a couple kind of like tent pole items in here to look at and then we can review some of the PTR changes that we know are coming in the balance changes for classes as well. Some classes are getting some pretty heavy reworks, some changes to their talent trees, that sort of thing. But this patch is coming very soon. So starting with the trading post, this was kind of like this new idea that they had and they talked about it quite a bit uh, over the last month or so. But this is basically, uh, it's going to be in Stormwind and Orgrimmar, depending on your faction. And you will be able to go to it once a month, collect currency, and then you'll have a sort of battle pass style log of activities that you can take place in, which will give you more currency. And then at the trading post, you can then use this currency to unlock transmogs and cosmetics. There are store mounts in here like the Celestial Steed. There are old transmogs that are no, no longer available. They've hinted that there's going to be more like some of the exclusive ones that they gave out in past expansions may show up in the trading post as well. So the core of this is that you will get just for logging in once a month, which is basically, you know, it's a, a bonus for having the sub active. You will get a certain amount of currency that you can spend at the trading post. And then they'll have these activities that you can complete to get uh, essentially double the amount. Um, you'll get another amount that's equal to the amount you get for the month uh, on top of it. So you can actually just get more currency, get transmogs, pets, mounts, that sort of thing. So that is coming in 10.0.5 January 24. They are also adding in more transmogs for common and white, uh, common white or poor gray quality gear. So if you really want to look for that kind of rustic old school, you know, Elwyn Forest vibe of just very low quality items, those will be transmogable in your wardrobe, which is really nice. Uh, and then each item will be now be bound, bind on equip and can be added to your appearance collection. So you can mix and match as much as you want. The next thing is they are expanding the Primal Storm. So right now we have the Primal Storms event. Uh, they spawn up all over the Dragon Isles in, in different zones. You farm them for a currency, Elemental Overflow, and you use that to buy blue 259 gear plus a mount and two pets uh, and some just general transbox for your characters. And then you can get uh, the nine coins every week that allow you to upgrade that 359 into... Uh, purple gear that is equivalent to about normal level raid gear. So you can actually gear up your character through these events. But in 10.0.5, they're adding a higher tier of the Primal Storm that will also give the Elemental Overflow and a new currency with a new vendor that you can farm for new stuff. Now we're not clear just based on the PTR what is going to be on the vendor itself. We know it's going to be in the Primalist future. So if you go, go to Thaldrassus uh, up uh, on the little tower there, you can go through the portal that goes to the future. That would be like the future if the Primalists won. Uh, and in that area, there's going to be a new vendor and a new storm event. Um, on the PTR, it's set to have a 10-hour rotation, uh, four hours up and six hours down. They said the same thing for the Primal Storms. People have work schedules, so I, I wonder if this rotation is going to change um, just based on availability, right? So like if you only have four... If you only have four hours to play every day and you come home and the storm is never up in that four hour window because of the rotation uh, and you may have to wait days or maybe even a week, it can be it's going to be rough. So these numbers might change. I'm guessing that they probably will. But you're basically just going to go to the Primalist future by going through the portal in Thaldrassus and the event will start and you'll have these portals that you can uh, fight King of the Hill style for. So they'll spawn, you stand near them, you capture them. There's going to be a boss in the middle and you go and everyone pours in and fights the boss. Uh, and it's like this kind of whole, it's not just spam mobs. There's actually some mechanics uh, that go on during the event, which is pretty cool. So you'll be able to kind of push through that. They have different elements based on the primalist future that's going on. There's also a secondary mechanic where it's in the frozen future. 
you get stacks of a debuff, you warm yourself um, with several different ways, uh, items that can warm you, or you can go to different areas that warm you, but it is kind of like a nice little event uh, that's going on. So in this event, they will still drop Elemental Overflow when you kill the boss. They'll give you a weekly quest that you can finish in the character to get the new Essence of the Storm, which you spend on the new vendor, and it also gives you Storm Sigils as well, which is pretty cool. It also has a chance to drop gear, so if there's things that you haven't collected from the Primalist uh, vendor, you'll be able to just get it as a drop from the mobs that are here. Um, so it's it, it it's not making the past Primal Storms uh, obsolete. You still can get value, get Elemental Overflow, which you can spend on the same vendor. You get the Storm Sigils, where you can use to upgrade the Primalist gear, and then you get a new currency, which you can spend on a new vendor. So all of that rolling together is, is really good news. It should be a nice way to liven things up and give new things to rebuild the farm and it's not just uh, pull a bunch of mobs and farm like there's actually some kind of interplay for the event itself and lastly if you're wondering about the balance changes for 10.0.5 there's some pretty big ones in here i did a, full, a whole video covering that and i'll leave that down in the description as well if you want to watch it uh, they have actually added a few new things to it the general idea is they're reworking the druid uh trees the class tree to make it a little bit easier to navigate they are uh, re reworking Mistweaver uh, in the bottom right. They're losing the, uh, the Maldraxxus ability and gaining Shailun's Gift back from Legion, which is super cool, plus some reworks to mana and bonuses and healing. There's a new ability for Brewmaster, some reworks to some of the talent and things that move around. They made some nice changes to Holy, uh, Holy Paladin, as well as some overall buffs to uh, Priest. They've made some ad adjustments to Rogue with new talents and things like that. Um, and they've touched um, the Shaman one isn't super crazy. Uh, Warlock buffs, Warrior buffs, and reworks for arms specifically. Some nice changes to Fury. And they're adding a Mage Tower. Um, I don't know if they've completely confirmed whether we're going to be able to get the other stuff that we had before from the Legion Mage Tower. But the Mage Tower is now available for testing. So it brought back through Legion Time Walking uh, some specific Mage Tower re rewards. But uh, there's some extra, extra stuff going there. So the final patch notes isn't confirmed. I'll probably make a separate video going over the actual final class changes because they're still getting new ones um, every day. But just know that if there's something you're struggling with or you're looking forward to in the 10.0.5 update, it's coming on January 24th. So we have that to look forward to. If you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to stop by my live stream. I'm live every day, twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Let me know what you guys like about this patch, what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to. The one thing that I feel is missing in this so far is some, some major love for Disc Priest. I feel like they are struggling uh, still quite a bit. Um, and we'll see kind of, uh, I'll, I'll do some uh, tier lists later this week going over the class changes and the balance changes to see how damage uh, classes are stacking up. So we know Warlocks have been struggling a good bit. Um, and there's just been and two of the, the mage specs have been struggling a lot as well. Um, so we'll, we'll check in on that in a different video, but I just want to let you guys know that this is all coming and we have a date for it. So see you in the next one. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.